Hello and welcome to this video. Today we'll be taking a look at how to connect to your Google Cloud SQL instance from your MySQL workbench. So first of all, make sure you're logged into the correct Google account because this might be confusing if you have multiple Google accounts like I do. Then the first thing you would do is to go under SQL, under the storage, SQL, and then here you would create an instance of MySQL and you can see this also works for Postgres but we're going to stick with MySQL and then the instance ID will just be the name of your instance let's say we are testing set a root password remember this password because this is the one we're going to use to connect to our MySQL workbench and then choose the region that is closest to where you are so that things can be a bit faster so I'll go with southeast one zone can be changed anytime so this isn't too important but your region is permanent and then you stick with 5.7 and you make sure you click on the configure options because this is important under connectivity here we will be able to add networks so that we can connect using our own local computer for machine type and storage this is also adjustable after you created the instance so not to worry about this I will be showing how to connect to Cloud SQL after creating the instance, but you could also add your connection while creating the instance. So the rest of the settings, you can leave it as per normal. Here you can see we are enabling automatic storage increases so that we can scale our instance. And under backups, we have automated backups. So that's, we want to leave it as that. Then go ahead and create the instance, which will take a while. So we'll let it load and I'll come back when it's ready. Alright, so that took about maybe 5 minutes. Once your instance is set up, you can click on it. And then the next thing you would do is to go under configuration here and edit the configuration. Because we want to tell the instance about our local computer so that it can authorize it to connect. So that will be under connectivity, public IP, and we need to add a network. So when we add a network, we need a name is actually optional but we can just call it a demo the network here this is compulsory this is for your IP address for your local computer very simple is just to Google your IP or my IP and you will see your IP address copy and paste it here and then you can click done and then save your configuration Alright, so while it's loading, we can also take a look at the other information available. For example, most important here is the public IP address, which is the IP address of the SQL instance that you want to connect to. So this is important. Next, we can open up our workbench and add a new connection. So here is where we fit in all the pieces. The connection name is just the name that you want for your project or the database. And then the host name, the host name would be your Google Cloud SQL instance IP address that we just copied. The username is root because we haven't created any other users. The password we would store. And then we would test the connection. This is what we want to see, a successful connection made to the MySQL instance. Now that we have tested it, we can actually go ahead and connect to it. And this is pretty fast. And now you can go ahead and use your workbench as per normal. Create a schema. Apply. And there you have it. You can set the schema as default and then go ahead and create your tables and store your data. So that's it for this video. If you found this video useful, do share it with anyone who might need this information. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.